Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Sergio Perez won the sprint race in Baku, and Max Verstappen isn't happy with George Russell. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's do a quick overview of the sprint race. And to be honest, it's not a surprise that Red Bull won. Like the car is so good in race trim, and has mega straight line speed compared to Ferrari. So even though Charles Leclerc had a good start to the race and led for a few laps, Sergio Perez eventually was just able to breeze past. Yes, the Ferrari was better in the middle part of the circuit compared to Red Bull, but as we know that Ferrari suffers badly from tyre degradation, and he eventually fell away, with Perez able to build a gap before going on to win the race. So going into the main Grand Prix tomorrow, I don't expect Leclerc to win. Even though like today he'll start on pole, I think that like in the sprint the Red Bull straight line speed will be too good, and he'll get overtaken early on and then when he starts to suffer tyre degradation, he'll start to fall away even more. So unless it's a crazy race tomorrow, it's going to likely be a Red Bull win. I mean, you've also got to remember that Mercedes were nowhere in the sprint, with George Russell 4th and Lewis Hamilton 7th. On top of that, Aston Martin also suffered from a lack of pace this weekend. Yes, they had DRS issues, and that not working is going to hurt so much around a track like this. But it was working in the sprint, but we didn't really see Aston Martin perform like they have in the last three races. I mean, don't get me wrong, Fernando Alonso still did a decent drive, for example, to finish 6th ahead of a Mercedes, but yeah, I don't think the car is working that well around the track. But one driver who wasn't happy was Max Verstappen. He finished 3rd after suffering damage at the start of the race when he had contact with George Russell. Basically, Russell got off to a good start, went side by side with Max through turn 1, but into turn 2 went down the inside and tagged Verstappen, which in turn left a small hole in Max's side pod. Now this would have made the car more draggy, which likely explains why he couldn't pass Leclerc before finishing the race in P3. And Verstappen wasn't happy, and after the race we even saw him go up to George and confront him about the incident. Verstappen said, it's not clarified. I just don't understand why you need to take so much risk in that one. Understeer into my side pod, create a hole. We all have cold tyres, it's easy to lock up. His beautiful way of explaining, ah mate, you know locked up, ah look at the onboard, it doesn't make sense. Now we've seen this type of contact loads of times in Baku, especially on the opening lap. But I can see why Max is angry. You know he suffered damage after Russell locked up, which cost him the chance of winning the race. But Russell has hit back at Verstappen, saying he was quite surprised Max was still trying to hold it around the outside. He said, I was down the inside and I think as a driver you know the risks when you're on the outside. I'm here to fight, I'm here to win, and I'm not going to hold back just because he's leading the championship. None of the contact was intentional. I was doing my best to try and have a clean fight. I was quite surprised he was resistant to the position. I was on the inside. I was surprised why he was so angry, to be honest. He still finished the race in P3. He's got enough experience to know that if you're trying to overtake a guy on the outside, there's a risk the guy on the inside is going to run wide into you. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video for me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, Take care. Bye.